your Metro train ride is getting closer to being controlled by the train itself rather than the train operator. General Manager Randy Clark says significant progress is being made. Like just this week, uh, there's been an enormous amount of testing. I'm actually going out uh, Thursday night overnight uh, on a couple trains. Now, Metro is one of the only major U.S. transit systems that does not operate in an automated mode right now. And the benefits of automation are many. Most notably, the train movement is much smoother and more precise. We got a chance to try out automatic mode in a simulator recently. All right, so we're in one of these Metro simulators here that shows the difference between manual operation of the train and automatic operation. Right now, this train is being simulated in automatic operation. We just pulled into the Friendship Heights station. What I have to do as the train operator, I don't really have to control the movement of the train. I have to look down the platform to make sure nobody's there. I close the doors and then the train will actually start moving on its own once again when the train doors close. And the automatic operation of the train is gonna have it coming down the platform. There we go right there. Next Thursday, June 22nd, marks 14 years since the deadly red line crash near Fort Totten that left nine people dead. In that case, a perfect storm of events sent a computer-controlled train slamming into the back of another one. Metro has not operated trains in automatic mode since that time, but the transit agency believes they are getting much closer to the return. We are, uh, in some ways, much further along than I expected, and I'm really pleased with that. Metro expects to brief its board on the return to automation next month. Adam Tuss, News 4. Now, Metro has brought in experts from other transit systems to review its plan to return to automatic mode.